In this video, we'll do an exam review of Huntington Chorea. Question number one, what's the pathology of Huntington Chorea or Huntington disease? Number two, what are the behavioral disturbances in Huntington Chorea? And question number three, what are MRI features in Huntington disease? Now, Huntington disease or Huntington Chorea. Huntington disease is a neurodegenerative autosomal dominant disorder which is progressively fatal. So, neurodegenerative autosomal disorder which is progressively fatal and the age of onset is usually between 25 to 40 years of age and the incidence of the disease is about 5 to 10 per 100,000 and is characterized by motor, behavioral and cognitive defects. So, what are the motor disturbances? In Huntington disease, the motor disturbances are characterized by rapid, non-patterned, involuntary choriform movements. Other common motor disturbances are dysphagia, dysarthria, dystonia, and disturbances of gait and oculomotor abnormalities. And what happened in the late or advanced disease? Rigidity, spasticity, bradykinesia, and myoclonus. And the motor disturbances may also present as akinetic, rigid, or Parkinsonian syndrome. Now, behavioral disturbances in Huntington Korea. There are anxiety, irritability, depression, anger, obsession and compulsion and psychosis with personality changes and the majority of the patients develop dementia. So the behavioral disturbances are anxiety, depression and psychosis and personality changes and majority of them develop dementia. The cognition disturbances are that of learning, memory, planning and decision making problems. Now, etiology and pathology of the Huntington disease. Huntington disease, as I already mentioned, it is an autosomal dominant disorder. The gene is on the chromosome 4 and encodes the cytoplasmic protein Huntington. So, the Huntington gene encodes Huntington protein and Huntington causes mitochondrial dysfunction that leads to decreased ATP formation, leading to increased calcium entry into the cell causing excitocytotoxicity. So, Huntington protein causes mitochondrial dysfunction, decrease ATP formation and increase calcium entry into the cell leading to excitocytotoxicity. Number three, magnesium which is voltage dependent and blocks calcium channels does not block calcium entry due to the deficiency of ATP. So, unchecked calcium entry causes cytotoxicity. Number four, Huntington is widely distributed in the CNS neuron. But in Huntington disease, intranuclear inclusions of Huntington are found in the neurons of the striatum and cerebral cortex. Number 5. The disease affects the striatum, atrophy of the caudate nucleus, which normally produces convexity in the lateral wall of the lateral ventricle. So, this is the normal MRI of the brain showing a convexity in the, in the lateral wall of the lateral ventricle. But in Huntington disease, this convexity is lost. See here on the right side and it becomes concave in appearance at the lateral margin of the lateral ventricle. And there are abnormal high signals in the caudate nucleus and putamen. And the ventricles are enlarged. And number eight, there are diffuse cortical atrophy late in the disease. Now, fate of the disease. Chorea is self-limiting. Number two, depression, anxiety, and psychosis are the problem. Depression treated with antidepressants and anxiety with benzodiazepines. Psychosis is treated with atypical neuroleptics such as clozapine 500 mg per day, oitiapine by about 500 mg a day, and resperidone by 2 to 8 mg a day. Majority of the patients with Huntington disease, they develop dementia. Now, answers to the question. Question number one, what? the pathology of Huntington Korea. Huntington gene is on chromosome 4 and encodes the cytoplasmic protein Huntington that promotes calcium entry into the cell causing excitocytotoxicity. Intranuclear inclusions of Huntington's are in the neurons of the striatum and cerebral cortex in the Huntington 
Korea. Question number four. What are the MRI features in Huntington disease? In Huntington disease, caudate atrophy produces a concave appearance on the lateral margin of the lateral ventricle. Normally, it produces a convexity, as I mentioned earlier, but in Huntington, it's a concave appearance. Number two, an abnormal high signals in the caudate nucleus and putamen and enlarged lateral ventricles and diffuse cortical atrophy late in the disease. And question number three, what are the behavioral disturbances in Huntington, Korea? Anxiety, irritability, depression, anger, obsession, psychosis with personality changes and majority of these patients, they develop dementia.